Hello everyone, we will continue the topic Web Time Pro ABAP. And in the previous video, we took a requirement based upon that requirement. We created a Web Time Pro component. We understood the meaning of component controller, component interface, views, and windows. Now we will start with the practical part. So firstly, we will design the layout. And you all know, whenever you want to design the layout, we will always, always take help of the views. Now, if I will show you the layout, what sort of layout we will design? We will design label, input field. We will go for button, label. Output, label, output, label, output. Because we will go for three to four fields from the VBAK table. So with the help of view, we will design the layout. Because you all know, whatever you will design, ultimately that will be visible to the end user. So I will simply, simply expand the view. You can simply expand the view. And you all know by default, the name of the view is main. Whenever you are creating a Web Den Pro component, the name of the view is main. Now I will go to change mode because currently it is in display mode. If you are already in change mode, then there is no need to go to change mode again. Now you can see we have one thing here that is root UI element container. It means it is a container for user interface element. Whatever the layout elements you will create, ultimately you will create into this root UI element container. What itself is saying, it is a container for the user interface element. User interface element means what? Your label, input field, button, table, all those are your user interface element. Now this is your root UI element container. And you can see below we are able to see the properties of this root UI element container. Whatever the layout element you will create, you will be able to see the properties below here itself. Just simply compare it to module pool. Whenever you are designing label, push button, whenever you are going for input, output, field, table, control with wizard, whenever you are double clicking, you are able to see the properties. Same thing is here. Whenever you will, whenever you want to see the properties of any user interface element, just simply, simply go for double click and you will be able to see the properties here. Now we will go for first important thing. Now, if you see this root UI element container, if I will be able to see the layout, you can see we have so many types of layout available. There is a property layout for this root UI element container. And we have so many types of layout. Anyways, we will go for a separate video in which we will go for the explanation of all these types of layout. But in project or 99.99%, .99%, whatever the requirement is, we always, always go for matrix layout, most preferable layout. And what is the meaning of matrix layout? During our school also in 12th, we always listen the term matrix, matrix calculation. So what is matrix? Matrix means whatever the layout you will design in that the UI elements will arrange in the form of table. Whatever the UI elements we will develop, it will arrange in the form of table. Table means rows and columns. Anyways, whenever I will design the layout elements, I will create, you will understand, yes, how in the matrix layout they are getting in the form of rows and columns. And most, most preferable layout, always 99.99% .99 your all requirements will be fulfilled by this matrix layout only. So I will take the properties, a property of this root UI element container as matrix layout. 
by default, you will get flow layout. You will simply, simply change it to matrix layout. I will go for save. Now, in this root UI element container, I will go for first UI element. What I will design, what I will create, I will create a label. This is a label, label for sales document number. So how I will create a UI element? I will simply right click onto this root UI element container. You can go for insert element. We are inserting the element. Now I will simply give the name sales underscore LBL. LBL just it's for the label. Now I will choose the type and I will simply go for label. You can see we have the type label. Just simply compare it to module pool. We have so many layout elements. Yes, you are going for table control. You are going for sub screen. Same thing is here. Yes. Now I will go for OK. Now you can see in the root UI element container, we have the first label sales underscore LBL. And these are the properties. These are the property. Now you can see we are able to see this small thing. So this is our label. Now we will give that text, but the text we want to give sales document number. So here you will be able to see the properties. It means you will be able to see the text property here. So I will simply check the text property. You can see we have a text property and it is in red color by default. Red color means compulsory we need to pass this. So I will simply write here, sales document number. I will go for save. It's good that you will always save parallelly because it's very difficult to design the layout always. Yes. And you can see we are able to see sales document number. Yes. Now we will move further. Anyways, we'll fill this also because it is also in red color. It is compulsory we need to fill. Now we will go for this input field because this is input. Here you will fill the value of sales document number. You will pass the value of sales document number. So I will simply right click, insert element. And you can see now we will put sales underscore in. Input output field. So I will simply take, it is an input field, yes. It is our input, so I choose the type as input. I will go for OK. And you can see we are able to see the input field. This is our label and this is our input field. Now we need to bind this. This label is for this input field. Just now few minutes back, one or two minutes back, you are able to see something in red color for this particular label. So we need to pass this label is for what? This label is for this input field. So we designed the input field also. We created the input field. So I will simply, simply go for the drop down. You all know whenever you will double click, you will be able to see the properties. Just from the drop down, choose sales underscore in. This label is for this input field. You need to bind this. So I will go for sales underscore in. So our label is ready. Our input field is ready. I will go for save. Now I will go for simply these four things. What are those four things? Firstly, I'll go for button. I need to go for submit button. So I will right click. And now we will learn most important thing. I will go for insert element. Now I will create a button. So I will write submit underscore BTN. I will go for button. I will go for OK. Now you can see, now people will tell, yes, you designed the button, but button is coming into this line itself. I bought this button in the new line. If you see this, I bought this button in the new line. Now here the matrix layout will play a vital role and most important question from the interview perspective. 
any interviewer will ask whenever you are going for matrix layout, whatever the layout elements you are designing, it has two things. What are those two things? Those two things are matrix data and matrix head data. Whenever you are going for matrix layout, see this root UI element container is your matrix layout. Whatever the layout elements we will, we will create under this under this root UI element container, which where the matrix layout is there. Whatever the layer UI elements we will create, it always, always two things. What are those two things? Matrix head data and matrix data. First word itself is saying matrix head head. Matrix head data. What is the meaning of matrix head data? It means whatever the UI element you will create, if you will choose matrix head data, it will start in from the beginning of the line. It will start from the each new line. If you will go for matrix data, it will be in the continuation of that line. We will understand by practically. Suppose. Now people will say, you designed the label, but you have not chosen matrix data or matrix head data. You created the sales input field. You have not chosen matrix data or matrix head data. Just see, whenever you are creating first layout element, by default, it is always, always your matrix head data. What is matrix head data? It will start from the beginning. It will start from the new line. You can see sales document number is in the new line. Now I will go for sales underscore in. Now this input I want in continuation of this. I do not want in the new line. So have you seen we have a property matrix data that is by default there. So I have not changed that. That's why it is coming in this continuation of this layout element itself. Now, now we designed the button. You can see for the button, the layout data is matrix data. That's why it is again in the continuation of that line. But we want in the new line. So what we need to do, we simply, simply have to change it to matrix head data. Now, whenever I will put enter, you can see it shifted to the new line. It starts from the new line. Extremely important concept, matrix data and matrix head data. Matrix head data means the layout element will start from the new line. And if you go for matrix data, it will be in the continuation of that. An important question from the interview perspective. Now, we need to give a text to this button. So I will simply, simply give the text to this button. You all know, yes, we will be able to see the properties. Now I will give a text to this button. What will be the text to this button? The text of the button will be submit. Now I will simply, simply go for save. And you will be able to see the text of the button as submit. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we start with the layout creation. So as a part of that, we simply went to the view. We will be able to see the root UI element container. In that, you need to design your layout element. So firstly, I change the property of root UI element container to this particular matrix layout. And 99.99% it's always matrix layout. Matrix means what? It arranged the UI element in the form of table. Table means what? Rows and columns. And you are able to see also. You can see we have rows, columns. Anyways, once the topic will proceed, you will understand that. Then I created the label. I gave the text for the label. I created the input field. We need to bind this. This label is for this input field. Then we cover, yes, 
whenever you are going for matrix layout, whatever the layout elements you are designing, the layout data has two properties. What are those two properties? Matrix data and matrix head data. Matrix data means it is in continuation of that particular layout element. Matrix head data means that layout element to start from the new line. Whenever you are creating a first layout element, it's by default head data. If you are going for next one, by default it was head, it was data. So if you want to change, you can change. Then I created the button. Button is appearing in continuation. So I simply change it to matrix head data and I provided the text. In the next video, we will simply, simply go for four label and four output fields because we want to see the output and then we will move on to the logic part after that. So that's it in this video. Thank you.